What do you make yeah, of what well, happened in the floodlight series? Yeah, uh, starting with the KCB Menangayola's game where KCB won 42 to 21. You realize KCB is now a real force to reckon with. KCB they've are the been. defending champions, they but are. they've come of yeah. age. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why I, I, you know, I'm not surprised what they did to Menangai. Menangai was very strong in the quarters, but, you know, I think this is the game of... Uh, or oh, this is non and or, or black blood. Anyway, um, I think I think, uh, and then there, there, there's the other game for non days, non days uh, against the students of KU, uh, black uh, black blood, and and the students had come out strong. They were actually leading seven nil at halftime, and then non days came out in the second half, and you know it ended 2014. And now the final is this weekend, uh, non days versus KCB, KCB the defending champions. Uh, the number one rugby team, and you know we. Okay, you're talking. You're just talking a lot. Yeah, you know the results of this one, don't you? No, this case you. Of course, you know the results. You know the results. You know, you know so why don't you just go to the results? What, what are all these things you're talking about? We know what is going to happen here. Yeah. No, this scrapped past just, black black. It was yeah, a scrap was past. You, they were not going to win it. Yeah, okay, yeah. they were not going to win it. So you just scrapped past. But KCB is so emphatic in what they are doing. And uh, they've said it before, or oh, it's team spirit. They give it a lot of things, you know, it's composure, it's knowing the game and all that. You look at the technical way in which they're approaching the game and you know that they're still going to be KCB are playing eh? professional football, uh, professional rugby. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, mm. it's professional. You all right. What, so what they did in the, um, uh, what, what was this tournament before? The series, the Sports Pesa series. Yes, you know? that's, yeah. a seven one, circuit. that's a seven circuit. That's a seven. This is oh, a 15th version of the game. That. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's and they were still there. good in it. Anyway. Yeah. Let's, let's end it on that very happy note at the moment and take a little break. And uh, when we come back, we have a special guest we'll be talking about. You know, recently, the women's teams, the national women's teams, have been doing better than the men's teams. And everybody's talking about it out there. Out there. The women have been rubbing it in. And now there's nothing much we can do but to bring somebody else to rub it even further in to find out what's <laughs> going on and why the men are not doing so well. In fact, it's one of the addresses that were made by some of the... Um, uh, the uh, candidates for FKF presidency, Samuel Wino Kempes mentioned it, that he needs to be able to bring it back to par. <laughs> the structures must be put in place. So we'll be talking to a champion in that, a lady who's been running Academy for Women, has been a coach as well, has got the women's uh, soccer at heart. She will be here to tell us more about herself. Meanwhile, you tell me, do you think the kind of money being offered in the Africa Champions League is the kind of money that can put soccer into where it's supposed to be in Africa? I'm waiting for your tweets at Bernard underscore sports at KChege underscore sports is where we are at.